Hey, it's your girl Tamara and we are here with Mally Fresh. He is a gospel rapper. Pay attention when you hear the lyrics. Go to church and you might just feel it. Two or more and then y'all offend it. But you gotta be in his name. Can't search for the fame when you win this game. If that show claim, better do it without shame. I'm just saying, man, dang, can I catch my breath? So what inspires you, your music? Jesus inspired my music. <laughs> I mean, I mean, aside from him, I get inspired by other artists like my brother, Mastermind, and my cousins, who I will not mention because we're beefing right now. But just a lot of music in general, but mainly my brother. Yeah. Um, any big artists that you look up to, like, in the gospel industry? Uh, I love Lecrae, KB, and NF. Those are my guys. Those three are just, like, legends. Oh, The Truth. I met him. He's my hero. I open for him. Yeah. He's one of my biggest inspirations as a child. But as an adult, Lecrae, KB, NF. That's dope. Um, what... Do you like where do you see yourself in five years? Oh man, realistically, out of my parents' house and with a car for sure, and hopefully on somebody's tour. That's just to go. I've been trying to get on people's tour, but you can't be on tour when no one knows you. So, build what's the process of getting on someone's tour? The process, well, I gotta get my music, I gotta get my music like owned, I gotta own the rights to it and stuff with Spotify and all that, and then I gotta get it out there for people to hear. And then once people hear, there's gonna be demand, and once there's demand, tour life. So, who do you wish to go on tour with? Honestly, anybody who would have me. If I could pick somebody, I would like to, Stephen Malcolm. That's the homie. He's super dope. I've opened for him as well, and I just love his music. Yeah. Yes. When did you open for him? That was in January 2016, the same day I opened for The Truth. Those guys are just awesome people to be around and to listen to. When is your next show? My next show was uh, mid-August. I got a show at, a, um, at, a, at John Adams High School. I'm going to be on their football field. That's so dope. That's dope. How Thanks did you God. get that set up? My momager, man. The momager of the year. I oh. even asked her how did that happen. Like, that's dope. Let's get into a more serious note. How do you feel about all the violence that's been going on in Cleveland? You know, unfortunately, I'm desensitized to it. Like I said, I grew up on Lakeview, so that's like, that's like king violence over there. Like, I remember a dude who was running from the police and he ran through my driveway through my backyard one time. That was that was pretty funny. And um, I saw a dude, I saw a girl get slammed off a porch pushed off a porch by her uncle in my old hood so i'm just really desensitized to it it's really unfortunate i try not to watch the news because it's so sad i just pray and i also pray that it doesn't affect people's opinion on god because people want to god's the ultimate scapegoat they need someone to blame if it's a god why would he let all this stuff happen and i be telling people god is a father you feel me like you can't if he forced us to do everything right we would just be robots and that's not us he gave us free will he don't make people commit suicide he don't make people kill people it happens on their own and he let us do us. He's a father. You don't. You can't watch a kid his whole life. You gotta let him go into the world and make their mistakes. That's how that go. That's dope, that's dope. Mm -hmm. Do you think anything could fix this? What do you? What would you recommend? Honestly, it all starts with the music. Everything is cerebral and whatever we put into our minds. And ever since you know Chief Keith spawned these generation of gangster rappers and trap rappers, it's just been more and more violence. You know, because they say everything starts in the mind. I don't mind as the devil's playground. Just all that music and the push me to the edge all that stuff is bad stuff and it's it's spewing out into the streets and that's why i try to put out better stuff more positive stuff and i want that to spew into the streets but it's a, it's a long grind and i'm ready for it just like that death of that famous rapper extension that was the, uh, the one that oh, just died oh no they're talking about the song oh yeah 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 that was sad that affected a lot of people you think it'll open some people's eyes um, as far as violence, I mean, violence is always there. I mean, at least it wasn't a cop killer, but I liked what Jay-Z said, y'all let X die, but y'all let Zimmerman live. I was like, ooh. Yeah. Creative yeah. brains clothing. It's not just a fashion line. It's a lifestyle. Stay creative, be creative, live creative every day. <laughs> Hey, it's your girl Tamara Nay, and we're still here with Mally Fresh, still asking a few more questions. So, why gospel? Why gospel? Well, I think it's very important to not be a cap rapper, as my cousin Kevo calls it. You know, really be about what you rap about. And I'm about Jesus, I'm about Christianity. As, as hard as it is to live, as hard as I try, that's what I'm about. And I want to rap about what I live. I can't rap about street stuff because that's not what I was raised to do. And that's not what I do. I got, I'm from the hood, I'm from Lakeview, represent. But I'm not, I wasn't about that life. I mean, I got homies who would tell you he from there, but he was about that life. So I'm just rapping about what's real to me. Right, that's dope. So tell us a little bit about where you grew up at. Uh, Lakeview, 123rd and Durant. That's the home by the Glenville area. People used to call me TC for Tacky But Cool because I used to dress real tacky when I hooped, wear the shorts and the long socks and, and Converse for no reason. 
And um, they used to call me that one little dude who know big words. I've always been a smart young man who's articulate. There's nothing wrong with being smart. I know. In the hood, it's pretty abnormal. And it was abnormal to have two parents in the hood as well. I, I didn't know that until I got older. Like that's, They used to say, you got two parents? That's weird. I'm like, really? No, right. And that's the book. That's fucked up. No. <laughs> yeah, yes, unfortunately, it is. I love them dearly. Uh, tell us about your shirt. Who made it for you? Oh, I wish I could tell you. I found, It was on the Instagram ad. I, for, I really wish I remember. Instagram, you feel me? Like, I need that. I hoop in this. You know, I try to minister whenever I go to the court. I'm not the guy who's just preaching to everybody, but if they ask me, they I tell them. <laughs> it's a good conversation starter, as we call it. Do you think more people should do gospel? I think if you're called to do it, you should do it. But I, I don't like when there are, people are literally, quote, unquote, Christians and they're not doing Christian rap. Because the Lord calls us to use our gifts to glorify him. So how do you call yourself a Christian? And you rapping about things of the world. How you say you work for McDonald's, but I see you working at Burger King. You feel me? It don't work that way. And these same people want to be seen in heaven. I, I call those people people who want to say they work for GE, don't work for GE, but they want the retirement package. You don't get the heavenly retirement package if you ain't been putting in that work. So that's just how I feel about that. How do you feel about the Cleveland scene? As far as the music go? Yeah. I just feel like it's crabs in a bucket, and I'm, I'm going to leave it at that. Okay. I'll just leave it at that. So tell me your Instagram credentials. Oh, well, um, I got Mally Fresh. Mally Fresh is everything. MallyFresh.com, Mally Fresh YouTube, Instagram, SoundCloud, Twitter, Skype, Facebook, all that. Cora, what I don't even, I mean, on that. Christian Mingle, whatever. I'm on all that. <laughs> Tinder. But um, I got I got a couple music videos on my YouTube and my Facebook. My Facebook video for Dramatic, it features Roscoe Noe and my boy Frankie. They both have attended my church. It's got like 2,000, 1,000 views on Facebook, or 2,000 or something, 2,000 on Facebook. And like 400 on YouTube, so check that out for me. My Holy Spirit video is pushing 400 on YouTube. Humble beginnings, that's gonna be chump changed when I get up there. Hey. Thank you. <laughs> you know what to say on my way out. Hit me with the head, been a while. And we are still here with Valley Fresh. Thank you for coming out for and me. supporting the magazine. Stay tuned, more original content on the way. Wait, can I get your number? God is myself, my anchor, my boo it, my life vest, my home man, Holy Spirit all in my ear. So I really got nothing to fear. He my sacred protector, I leave her no never. I'm trying to do better while reading Paul's letters, but how can I even I'm spiritually teething? I must be your baby, no why you're not crazy. These people flew gazy, they walking so lazy, they tell you they love you, but really they need you, they got the young problems, they got the young issues, God's working on me, but they also can fix you. Holy Spirit, it be so real. Government really thinking, man, what's the deal? What's the deal? Only believe what they can see. That's, That's really crazy. crazy, how can it be?